Hi, hello to our channel of performative drawing. You know, hmm, drawing is a performative practice. What we can do with this today? For me, it is a, some kind of practice which we can use to overcome the crisis we are in. Um, the crisis is huge and probably it is good to relax with, with drawing these kind of figures, these kind of creatures that can practically relax us and give us some pet and give us some way to understand relations. Today I will maybe try to concentrate on something which is related to the struggle we are in. And this struggle, I, I mean, first of all, in the struggle there are two positions. First position, it is, I would say, some kind of worm which is representing the crisis. And this worm, for me, in my world, in my universe, it has some kind of crocodile face, which I often like to draw. And this crocodile face is showing uh, some kind of uh, uh, some kind of zoomorphic experience of this worm, and uh, also it's showing a kind of predatorial you know, ability of the worm. It is not so nice to, you know, to approach the um, animal world right, like this. And uh, this is just a symbolic representation that human always like to do, you know. But uh, in this cosmology, uh, it's not about, you know, drawing some figures which are frightening someone or being on the side of crisis in this sense. It is more about how to visualize it and how to perform it together in this format of, uh, of drawing and maybe to try to overcome it with a different, you know, idea when you visualize it. And uh, this contrast between this uh, and uh, maybe something which is practically confronting this can be assessed right now. I will mm, try to imagine uh, completely something different and this is practically, this is not a human now, it is again something which is non-human, non-alien, non-animal, we don't know what it is still, and I also don't know, but in this correlation which we can probably also cut, we are cutting this correlation, we are now practically trying to to make new appearance, which is it's going in the direction of spider, which I hmm, like. I never, I actually with spiders I was never uh, so uh, so busy before, and this can be can give me a very nice uh, approach and very nice uh, new kind of um, relation between these two things. It is rather a relation than struggle. This is representing the crisis. And this is representing a solution of the crisis through this struggle. And in this drawing, we just make these two figures. And then later we will try maybe to put them in some kind of correlation, which can be done in the different, you know, uh, in the different session. Okay, let's draw now. Which I said it's a crocodile face. It has these predatorial skills. It is important to, to you know, to be very explicit here. In this sense, this practice of performative drawings, which I now showing to you, is a kind of uh, method which can uh, practically lead to relaxing um, exercise which can lead us to some solutions 
even philosophical, even theoretical, which can also like uh, assess our idea of relations, our idea of correlations, cutting those correlations, going into more deeper and sophisticated analytical approaches, or we can also uh, think about colors, forms, ideas, or the question of class. The crisis is going to affect classes on a different way, and this is just like a, some kind of accent, because we will not go into it right now. It, it will be maybe tackled in some other session. But right now we will concentrate on how to finish this worm with a crocodile face. And I think it is important to finish it here with one serious, you know, like hook, which can be kind of a defense tool against some other relief methods which are actually related to the overcoming the crisis today. The spider as a as a some kind of a symbolic option but also with a kind of variety of ideas and nice struggling fists which are more than needed today to overcome the crisis. These fists need to be strong and need to be resisting the crisis. And I'm very happy about this that suddenly I came to the solution that this fist is practically the central point of this of this composition and I didn't knew this from the beginning and this is actually the idea of the performative drawing and this is actually the the beauty of performative drawing is that you actually don't know until to the end what will be the central point of this drawing. Now it's obviously that it is a strong fist. So to overcome the crisis, to overcome this worm with a crocodile face, we need a strong fist and we need ability of the spider. And this ability of the spider are not easy to find among humans. So we need a lot of knowledge, passion, and power to overcome it. So, I would say that's it. Um, we have at the end these two characters which are confronting each other. Um, it is, a, it is a, probably enough for this session today. And we will stay to the conceptual element of the central fist, which can lead us to other aspects of the world, which I am going to show you in this channel performative drawing